the medical industry is number two on the list for uh, malicious cyber actors to attack. A lot of the work that we do is in hospitals, so the, the Defense Health Agency hospitals, and we could have a fetal monitor that we need to make sure is on. We've seen it in the news and unfortunately hardly makes news anymore. It's kind of the standard that cyber attacks go through a hospital and many organizations are still embarrassed, don't admit to it, and gladly pay the ransomware to make it go away. And um, the reason that's done is because it's a life and death situation. Their systems aren't working. Patients could potentially be, you know, die and care could be jeopardized. We're making sure that our service members and our DOD civilians and their families are all protected and their health information is protected and that they are able to do their jobs. The Niwak Atlantic CSSP has been providing services across the DOD for over a decade. And we started with one main subscriber, the Defense Health Agency. So they provide uh, the health services to the VA, to all of the clinics that you see across military bases, and all of our service members. And over the last year, we've really focused on expanding our customer base. So we are extending into Navy networks, into coalition monitoring, into cross-domain solution monitoring. And we're trying to make sure that we can pick up all of the, the variety that the DoD is expanding into as we explore cloud services. So there's always going to be new threats. And so the NIWIC Atlantic CSSP, we're distinguished because we are able to provide our services in new networks that have never been defended before. We have a lot of different software that we can leverage in different ways for different attacks. We have several different teams that help us make this, this winning bench that we have to provide the security services across the DOD. The Navy Reserves are going through kind of a sea change uh, the past year, so they're going to go away from uh, operational support of the fleet and more to direct mission support. So the Navwar Reserve Unit was looking uh, for a, more of a mission partner for that, and uh, they were able to see what the CSP mission set was and said it was a really direct fit. So that includes our network monitoring and instant response professionals. We have senior analysts who work on refining the logic that makes sure that we can appropriately detect when there's malicious activity happening. Uh, we have counter insider threat professionals. We have cyber threat intelligence professionals, and then all of the network defense that goes into that. It's kind of a win-win right now for both organizations. So they're getting the, the, the mission experience they need. They're learning a pretty valuable skill set in the civilian and military world, and we're getting that surge support that we have a backup in times of crisis. So the NIWIC Atlantic CSSP is always trying to bring on more people. So we have a lot of competition from private industry for cybersecurity talent. We have partnerships with the University of Hawaii and with the local Charleston Citadel College. We're also bringing in interns that are planning to join NIWIC Atlantic after their college graduation. So we make sure that they get experience with our cybersecurity professionals and they see what government work is actually all about. The University of Hawaii internship program is a collaborative effort between both NIWIC Atlantic and NIWIC PAC. I mean, our goal at NIWIC, both PAC and LANT, is really to hire you know, the best talent and develop them. So we're not solely focused on the cybersecurity skills, but we're more interested in looking for innovative, collaborative and creative problem solvers who are warfighter focused. We're trying to make sure that we have that ready workforce who can help lead us into the next generation of services that we need to offer. One thing that this internship does is now you're developing talent and skills in a different location geographically. So what you have now is a geographically diverse workforce. And so this internship program it's just another weapon that we have to strengthen our national defense and to achieve NAVWAR's ultimate vision to rapidly deliver cyber warfighting capability from seabed to space. Moving into the future, we want to continue to provide the absolute best service that we can to our existing customers. We also want to continue to expand and find out these new uh, innovative technologies and how we can defend the Department of Defense in the best ways. 
NIWIC mission is there to support the fleet, support the warfighters. So if you get a better uh, understanding of what the day-to-day -day is and the different backgrounds and, and what the command and control structure and mission set is for the military, the better the civilian workforce and contractor workforce understand their, their clientele. You look in the news, you know that the, the cybersecurity problem space is only going to get bigger as technologies advance and our adversaries get more sophisticated. And so having more people who have who are able to tackle this problem, that greatly increases our chances of success. What makes us special at NIWIC Atlantic is our service to the mission. So we're protecting the warfighter. 